Hi everyone, this is Jet, and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how I make my DS cases. And this is a design I came up completely on my own, and I am an avid DS user. So it was really important to me that this case be very, very sturdy to protect my DS if I were to drop it in its case. So it is completely lined, and it's also important that there is um, pouches for games and that they're really accessible. Um, my design is unique because I have the cartridge cases on the inside of the case so there's no possible way I'm going to lose my cartridges. Um, and so my case opens up very very slightly so that it's easier to uh, put your hand inside and grab your cases out. Um, grab your cartridges out, I'm sorry. Um, this particular case is for a DS XL. Unfortunately, I only have a 3DS with me, so I cannot demonstrate exactly how the um, XL will look. But I am going to provide measurement instructions for the DS XL, the DSi, the 3DS and the DS Lite. Unfortunately, um, I cannot verify the measurements of the original DS, or as some call it, the DS Fat. So um, let's get started. So the DS cases that we are going to make are completely lined in cardboard and I am making a DSXL case so my measurements are going to be a little different but if you can read it those are uh, the measurements for um, a regular which fits a 3DS, a DS Lite, or a DSi and then I have my XL measurements here. I'll list them um, in a screen in just a moment. Now what you're going to do first is set one of these big pieces aside and these pieces um, which is the back um, actually I guess this is technically the front the front piece, the bottom piece, and the two side pieces are all going to need to be lined in duct tape. So once you have all those pieces done, we're going to want to do this piece. And for this piece, um, we're going to extend the duct tape upwards so it creates a almost like a messenger bag style thing going on where this part will be cardboard, but the top won't be. So for, um, if you're making a um, DSi, DS Lite, or 3DS case, you're going to want this to be seven inches, or seven and a half inches long. For my XL case, I'm going to want it to be nine inches long. So to show you how I do this, um, I'll make it a uh, time lapse style. So let's do that. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to be making uh, cases for um, the DS cartridges. And you're going to cut out for each um, slot, we're going to have three slots, um, one two and a half inch strip of duct tape. And then another strip of duct tape that is, um, let me check it, it's a little over one and a half inches. And slice that um, piece right there at the um, sort of three-quarter inch mark and measuring it by the cartridge it should look like that a little tiny bit of space 
on each side of the cartridge. Here, I'll put it there. See how we have a little tiny bit of space on each side of the cartridge? Um, and this is going to be used to line the top. So let me show you how to assemble one of these. Take the big strip of duct tape and place it sticky side up. Now take this piece and place it centered um, onto the top of it. So it should look like that. And now take this little strip that you set aside and place it on the very top like that so that you can line the top of that cartridge slot. And now take your big piece and we want uh, to place these um, near the middle of the um, cardboard section so it's not at the very bottom but not at the very top either. That'll make it easier for you to grab your cartridges. So I like to just center it. Now take a DS cartridge and place it um, in the very center of your case. And then just, there's going to be, um, it's going to lay right where the uh, Nintendo DS logo starts. So just place it down like so. And then before uh, pressing down the bottom, take the DS cartridge out and place it down like that. So it should look like that. Now we're going to place the other two on either side of it. When you're done with that, you might want to place a strip of duct tape below to cover up any um, wrinkles or anything you might have. It's kind of hard to avoid with this design. But um, now we just have to assemble the case. Okay, first we're going to set this big piece aside for a moment and take all the rest of your pieces. You're going to need two strips of duct tape that are the length of one of these small pieces and one strip of duct tape that is the length of one of these long pieces. Um, slice each of those in half so they're each an inch tall. First take your two small pieces and we're just going to line one of the sides. Just like that. Now do that to your other piece. Okay, now we're going to assemble uh, the sides and the bottom to this piece. Always start by putting uh, your connecting piece of duct tape uh, onto the small piece to attach it to the big piece. There, that's a better angle. So if we were to start with the sides, oh, and also these, the lined side needs to be facing outward. That is important. So attach the duct tape like that so that um, your lined side is facing outward. And just set it onto the edge Just like that. Now do that with the other side. Now we're going to attach the bottom. 
take one of these slices attach it like that and then again just lay it on top of this main piece I think the duct tape needs to be trimmed a little bit. You may need to trim your side pieces like that. And it should line up like Next, you're going to need a slice of duct tape that is um, one and one fourth inch long, and then slice that in half. And that's going to be used to attach uh, this piece to this piece. So the best way to do that is um, attach it to the side piece while bending the tape back here, like. <laughs> having a hard time getting the right angle like that and then just smooth it down now do it on the other side So now you have this piece all ready. You should have one slice of duct tape still left. Place that sticky side down onto the inside bottom. So it should look like that. That is how we're going to attach this outside piece. Make sure that your um, little uh, case holders are facing inward. So I want this to open just slightly. Depending on how you place it on this piece of duct tape is how far it's going to open. So if you placed it like that, it'll open up that far. If you place it like this, it'll open up that far. If you place it completely down, it won't open up much at all. So carefully place it open at a 45 degree angle and then smooth it down. At that point you can close it or whatever you want to do. And so that's what it's going to look like when it's closed. We're almost done. Keep in mind that if you're putting a design on your DS case, it's going to be uh, like this on the big, um, on your biggest piece, on the non, uh, on the part that isn't lined with cardboard, so that when you fold it, it'll look like this. Now, all that's left for us to do is to line the entire outside of our DS case. Okay, so to line the outside of your case, you're going to need one strip of duct tape that is an inch longer than the um, width of your case. So mine, I have eight inches for the XL case. If you're doing the normal case, you'd want seven inches. One that's an inch-ish longer than the um, sides of your case. So I have two inches. Um, one that is um, a half inch longer than the height of your case. So I have four and a half inches. Um, normally, for a regular sized case, you would want four. And one that is a half inch longer than 
when your case is expanded so I have nine and a half inches normally you'd want um, eight and a half inches so let's attach all of those and it's very similar if you've seen any of my bag tutorials I'm going to attach it in a very similar way but we have to keep in mind that this opens up let's start with the long piece so you would take one of your longest strips like that and starting from the tip of the non uh, cardboard area attach your duct tape and then just lay it across in a straight line so it should look like that and then lay it out and uh, here I'll lay it out like uh, that put it flat down and you're gonna this isn't even. Let me fix this a little bit. There we go. Now you're going to make a cut where the cardboard starts. Like that. And then fold over on the non cardboard part. Perfect. Now you're going to want to make a cut where um, this piece starts. So right there, and then fold here, and then fold that, and be sure, uh, it's a lot easier for me because I'm doing a bigger case, but make sure you don't cover um, the um, cartridge pouch, and then you can just Fold the excess over right there, and then do the other side. And now it should look like this. Now let's do um, the bottom. So take your next longest piece and just center it out on your bottom piece like that. Fold over and make cuts on the edges. Do you see where I made a cut? Right there, and then fold over the sides like that. And do it on the other side. Now flip it over and do the same thing on this side. But on this side, be careful because uh, this opens and everything. So have it slightly open when you place it. Okay, so you should still be able to open it slightly and that really helps with getting the games out of um, the center thing. So now do the sides in a very similar way. Take your smallest pieces for the sides. But on the sides, do not place it center. Do not place your, your tape like this. Place it uh, starting on the inside corner, so starting right there. Okay. 
Okay, now what we're wanna gonna we're gonna wanna do next is um these corners right here. Um do them um, just like you would any of the other sides. And start from start from right there. Okay, now all that's left to line is um, these inner sides, this uh, inner top, and then also right here. So we're going to get um, two strips of duct tape. One's going to be exactly the top length, and then one's going to be slightly bigger than this length, so two inches. Okay, so let's start with these long pieces. Take one, flip your case over to where it's designed side up, and just place it and so that's what your case is going to look like from the front. Now we're going to line this part right here, take that last long strip, and you might need to cut it just a little bit because you want it to be no bigger than right here. You want to be able to just fold it over right there. So I'm going to need to trim mine by like a quarter of an inch. Place it so it goes like that and fold over. Now there's only one more area to line these sides. So what you'll want to do is start by placing um, just barely on the edge there. Let me line this up. Like that, so that the excess is going over in this direction. Now make a cut. Here, let me show you from right here. Make a cut right there so that you can fold it over like that. Now fold this corner piece over and make a cut in the center like that and then just fold each piece over. You might need to make a couple more cuts. This covers up the corner really well. So it should look like that. Now do it to the other side. Okay, we are almost done with our case. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to attach the magnets. You are free to replace this step with um, Velcro if you prefer to use Velcro. I prefer magnets and I can guarantee that it will not mess up your um, DS system and you can check um, I'll put a link in the description to prove that so if you're using magnets lay out your system like that and space out your magnets on the corners then take a square of duct tape and just cover each of those up. 